You haven't broken character once. Broken character? I'm at a loss to explain what you might mean by that. I'm impressed as well. You really are a better actor than I was led to believe. Sir, I'll have you know that I have been nothing but genuine during this entire process. There were moments, I'm sad to admit, wherein I was less than truthful. But my manner of presenting myself is anything but affectation. You, sir, are in the presence of a true southern gentleman of the finest tradition. Do not speak to me of character, either of you, for I'll not have you impinge upon the historical and cultural sanctity of my upbringing. Jack, we know you were born and raised in the Bronx. <laughs> Sorry. Uh... He's just gonna tell that other thing. Well, here. I didn't exactly take a picture, but I did get an eyeball full, oh. I suppose. I'd say he was about my height, wiry build, Caucasian, brown hair, and that kind of, I look like I just got out of bed, but I really spent an hour on this mop that all the kids are wearing these days. And one more thing comes to mind, not exactly the sort of physical attribute you'd write in somebody's permanent record, but he had a cold. That ignoramus didn't even have the decency to cover his nose when he sneezed. Blue snot all over my lucky sweater without even an excuse me. Why did you say your lucky it's sweater in was? in my dressing room. It would be my pleasure to go get it for you. I'm afraid that won't be possible. I didn't figure it would, but you never know unless you ask. Tell you what, it's hanging on the far left side of the rack if you prefer to retrieve it yourself. Okay, let's go get it then. Far left, that's that one. This looks exactly like the sweater he has on now. In fact, all of these sweaters look the same. I wonder how he knows which one is the lucky one. There's a thread there. Can I take that? Or is, oh no, it's not. Oh crap. Ew, that's disgusting. <laughs> ew. Ew, ew, come on, let's get this over with. That's Don't disgusting. Worry. A cold virus generally only lives for five or six hours on a contaminated surface. That said, it couldn't hurt to wash up and get a new set of gloves. Still disgusting. Okay. <laughs> ew. <laughs> Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no, crap. Wrong one. DNA. Evidence. The disgusting thing. And what's that? Oh, that's for... Oh, that's a bowling ball. Okay. Doesn't match, does it? <laughs> okay, let's do this again. No, doesn't match. Next. Um. Yeah, it's this one. I think we have a few more questions for bachelor number one. 
Okay, and now let's do that bowling ball, I guess. Evidence. Oh no, back. Search. Oh crap, this is a big one. That one doesn't match anything though. And that one doesn't either, so it's not first, second. And I have to move this one. This one has to go. No. That one. That one. That one. That one. That one and that one. Confirm match. Excellent job. Let's hope this brings Lieutenant Briggs one step closer to retirement. <laughs> Okay, everything done? No, oh, shoot. Okay, that's done, that's done, that's done, that's done, that's done. I still have to do that, but I think I need something else to compare it to. So I'll do the rest. Hey. Okay, let's first talk to him. You got it. I got mail, let's just read that first. We've caught Steve in a lie about being at the crime scene at the time of the murder. Seems like a search warrant is the next step. Ask Jim. No, we're gonna talk first. Did you conspire to give Clutter in the alcohol? Mr. Goldwasser, according to Jack Shell, you wanted to sabotage your wife's career and sobriety so that she would come home and make babies for you. <laughs> You have got you some nerve, you for condescending you. piece of trash! You have no idea how much I love my wife! You have no idea! Hey, Ernie, we got a pretty good idea how you set up Jack Shell to take the fall, so you can just reel in the indignation, okay? Admit it. You killed your wife. I set Jack Shell up? Try the other way around, pal. Why the hell do you think I told you about him in the first place? I gave him a simple job. Give my wife some booze so that she could finally come home and have a life with me. And now she's dead. I don't want to lawyer up. I really don't. But if you don't stop pointing the finger at me and start getting about the business of finding out how Jack killed my wife, I'll have no choice. Mr. Goldwasser, it's not my place to advise you, but if you are truly both innocent and interested in finding your wife's killer, then we are your best hope. I... Damn it. Just keep looking, okay? Please. Okay, then now we can go to Brass and get the warrant for yeah. the dude need that to see sneezes over people. Go to a judge. Since the DNA from Jack Shell's sweater corroborates his testimony, there shouldn't be any problem getting a warrant to search Tamsin's room for evidence linking him to the murder of Clorinda Jackson. Is there a problem, officer? Mr. Tamsin, this is a warrant to search your room and possessions. If you wouldn't mind stepping outside, please. Is that if a... I didn't know better, I'd think this was just another ordinary hotel room. Is that a filthy napkin? It is, isn't it? It's Same disgusting. color as the thread we found on the victim's phone. I oh. agree. We'll want to take a closer look at that. Shut up. Uh, photos. Ah. This is where the hotel room illusion ends. Well, why? <laughs> Nothing. Shirts. I don't. Oh wait, what's that over that back? The 
These look like divorce papers from Ernest Goldwasser and Clorinda Jackson. The names are handwritten over what appears to be some sort of correctional fluid. And those dates are over eight years ago. I don't think I'd try to pass these off as real, but I don't think that's the point. No, is there anything else? So I doubt it. Uh, did I get everything? Probably have to compare that to come. Okay, let's first the document. The light can't get through the correctional fluid. We'll have to figure out some way to remove it. Wait, I have an idea. If we look at it from the back, we should be able to highlight the impressions the typewriter or pen made on the paper. What about I hope a printer? You can read backwards. Can, I as guess. you approach the correct frequency for I myself had I as you say taken the time to wipe that bottle down but the truth is I didn't have the time right as I was about to leave Clorinda to her hot tub and the booze fest that I could only guess was about to ensue some fool walked in on us there was someone else there yes a champion dullard casually strolled in only to sneeze all over my lucky sweater well, I had to take it off as soon as I returned to my dressing room. Couldn't put it anywhere but back at the end of the rack because goodness knows when the dry cleaning... Jack, stay focused. Did this gentleman sneeze on you before or after you slipped to Clorinda the Mickey? Slip her a mick? What on earth are you... Oh, dear. I just realized something. There is something I haven't told you. Getting her drunk wasn't my idea. It was Ernest Goldvoss's. I'm having trouble understanding what Mr. Goldwasser would stand to gain from getting his wife fired. I asked that sneaky son of a gun about the very same thing when he came to me with his plan. He explained it like this. Ernest was done with showbiz, and even more done with Clorinda in showbiz. He wanted her to settle down, start squeezing out some pups, which at her age would have been ambitious at best. But... As far as she was concerned, she was going to die up there on that stage. Whether it was singing or spinning a roulette wheel or asking folks how many times a night they make whoopee or whatever. So he came to me with a bottle of her favorite cocktail and that damn memo about Clarinda's contract. He said there was no way she would take a drink in front of him, but that she would never back down from anything she saw as a challenge from me. That last part I knew from experience to be true. But now, having been informed of this unfortunate business of her drink being spiked, I think it's altogether clear what happened. That no good backstabber set me up. Okay. No, I don't want to talk to him yet. Shoo. <laughs> I didn't ask all the yeah. questions yet, and then you if I don't, it. then shut up. Um, is this your heavens? No. Would you mind trying it on? I don't care much about jewelry, but if it will aid in your investigation, I will acquiesce. I can't speak to its craftsmanship or tastefulness. But the ring fits, I assure you, coincidentally well. Nevertheless, it is most assuredly not my ring. Any idea why Clarinda's phone was wiped down? I didn't down? even know she had a phone to be wiped. 